Namaste to all. I was watching an interesting question in YouTube. It was asked to Jagdish Vasudev. He calls himself as Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev. The question was why yogis are having long hair. The answer he gave was till the time one is doing sadhana. Normally the the sadhak they cut the hair or they fully shave the head once in a month before the amavasya or before the purnima. And but the moment once. a person achieves enlightenment and a person person becomes a yogi then he has to find ways to contain the peak of energy within his body and one of the ways is to not cut the hair as well as tie a turban in the head etc by doing all these kind of small small activities the immense energy inside the body is maintained this is what he answered and people clapped what an excellent answer how scientific it is etc this answer is totally rubbish and totally wrong we have to understand some basics here number 1 yogis never keep long hair yogis are always clean shaven if they live in the city if they live in the public they all they look always clean shaved they don't keep hair in the body number 1 and number 2 if we study the ancient scripts where some of the yogis used to keep long hair is because they do not live in public they always live in the jungle in the jungle they do not have even facility of seeing their face in the mirror etc they will not have mirror or blades or cutting equipment uh, shaving equipments so they do not bother to cut the hair but that does not mean that be- because they did not cut the hair they were higher yogis etc uh, keeping hair or not keeping hair do not have any significance with retaining the energy inside the body is very fundamental yoga shastra says yoga chitta vritti nirodha the energy or the chitta vritti is always going outside the body because we are interested in going from place to place in motor bikes seeing new cars i want to visit that place i want to lis- visit my relative and then uh, going to temple dancing in front of the statue with loud music all these things are ways to spend energy outside the body the way to retain the energy inside the body is not related to keeping hair the way to retain energy inside the body is very simple Almighty God as well as Rishi Muni in Shastra says that you have to do daily Nam Jap, you have to spend time to do Swadhyaya, you have to spend time to serve your parents, serve your Acharya, listen Vedas, control your mind. When you control your mind, your energy is preserved inside you. And most importantly, you should give your full strength to maintain Brahmacharya. The moment you start maintaining Brahmacharya, your energy is fully contained irrespective of you cut the hair, irrespective of you keep the hair. so it is not that the yogi attains a peak of energy he has to he should not cut the hair to keep the energy inside it is absolutely rubbish absolutely unscientific also please understand keeping long hair or long big mustaches or big beard is basically very it it results in lot of time that we we have to spend lot of time to maintain it somebody has to shampoo it because when you go outside the dirt comes and stick inside the inside the mustache or inside the long hair and you have to spend lot of time to clean it shave it, uh, keep it uh, you know straightened you have to comb it and by in this process you always see the mirror also how do i look uh, do i look like a yogi does does people look uh, you know uh, see tejas in my in my hair tejas in my face so your energy is automatically going outside this is called as chitta vritti you are spending the chitta vritti outside your mind is outside your body you are focusing on your style you are focusing on your beauty almighty god says do not focus on external beauty always focus on internal tapasya when you do tapasya the beauty in the face automatically will come the smoke coming out of the pollution like example you are walking in the street there is a pollution uh, automobile is going or you are going th- uh, by the side of a factory the smoke also gets entangled inside this the the stickiness in the smoke also gets entangled in the hair these are these are very basic scientific things that why one should not keep long hair and also almighty god in the vedas gives advice to the ladies that when you do cooking you have a long hair when you do cooking please cover it with a cloth so that your hair does not fall in the food when you do a homa please cover it with a the cloth so that the smoke of the homa do not get entangled inside your hair so and it takes lot of time to clean your hair etc so these are very basic fundamental suggestions given by all uh, rishi munis also taken from the vedas that one should properly focus on shaucha shaucha means 
external purity as well as internal purity external purity is daily taking bath daily doing shaving and daily focusing on internal purity which is tapasya swadhyaya naam jap etc the problem with modern spirituality is that they focus too much on external saying that doing this will preserve the energy doing this will preserve the peak energy so people also get aspiration okay i should or inspiration i should also keep long hair if i keep long hair probably my energy is staying inside absolutely absurd the energy can stay inside only by following adopting brahmacharya and following the vedic path i hope uh, you are able to understand something it is not to criticize sadguru jaggi vasudev i don't have any business with him but the problem is these people make so many videos to popularize anti vedic uh, things in the public that it is necessary that i have to quote his name so that at least to hundred of uh, few hundred people watch my videos or 50 people you can also spread this kind of message to the public thank you so much namaste om